Uh, hey everybody, Ashley and Jerome here from Atmosphere Collectibles. Uh, we are finally going to do our Record Store Day uh, drop. Record Store Day drops July 17th unboxing video. Although it's not really an unboxing, we have them all grouped together, but we're going to start showing all the titles that we will have available this Saturday at Atmosphere Collectibles at 8 a.m. Hopefully we'll have more coming, but this is for certain. What is here? It's for certain. Yeah. So. I do have another box coming tomorrow, and we did have uh, one title that uh, is had a uh, mess up on it. And so it may or may not be resolved. So what we have right now is what we know we have. Um, also, I would like to just use this time to clarify again. Uh, all these titles are limited. Uh, they are first come, first serve. We are not able to hold back any titles. Um, since they are so limited, uh, some titles we order heavy on, and we may only get a small amount. Uh, it's just the way they alloc uh, allocate in between all the record stores that participate. So that part is beyond our control. What is a part uh, in our control is every time a new list drops, we share it to our social media. And we really look to all of our locals who plan on possibly visiting with us to comment and give us feedback uh, and let us know what titles they're going to be excited about. Um, it just helps us while we're putting our orders in. If there's a particular title that no one requests and it's like maybe a harder sell in our views, uh, then we might not order certain titles. But anyway, that's why we need your feedback. Basically, what she is saying is don't wait until the day before Record Store Day to contact us and ask us if we're going to get something. <laughs> And that, it, it's some know, obscure thing that like nobody else has asked for. Yeah. Because the answer is probably not. Unless somebody else asked for it. And in which case we'll, we'll maybe, be limited you know, in number. Yeah. So anyway. So we're gonna first start off with the, the seven inches and the box sets, and then we'll go on through to the other titles. Um so this and and we don't normally order a ton of like seven inches because unless they're requested. Those are, you yeah, know, if they're, if we have like 10 people on the list wanting something, we're going to order, you know, 20, 30 copies. So, yeah, I think somewhere um, I might have another one of these. Um, uh, I think I have two of these. I think it just may be in another box. Uh, this is Denzel Curry and Robert Glasper live from Leemard Park. It is a seven inch. It's on clear vinyl and it's got a screen printing of an image on top. And, um, yeah, I think I have two. So, but. Right now, I've got one in my hand. So this is uh, Fleet Foxes. This is limited to 5,000 copies. We only got one copy. It's uh, songs that I think are pretty new. Um, but it's a record store day exclusive. So. Um, I've got a couple 7-inch box sets. Uh, both of these are uh, Soul Jazz Records releases, which that's just an awesome company. Uh, this one here, uh, they're both... Uh, limited run regional titles. This is limited to 1,000 copies and it's called Original Funk 70. It is uh, the music that makes you happy. Soul Jazz Records. Uh, it is five seven inch in a box set and it's a uh, really nice set. And then that's limited to 1,000. I have one. And then this one's also limited to 1,000 and I have one. And it's another uh, Soul Jazz Records release. This one has five, seven inches, and it is Studio One Ska Fire. Ten exclusive rare original ska tracks from the legendary Studio One R Records studio. I feel like the seven inch box sets are some of the coolest things they do. Like the compilations, yeah. um, the New Orleans one, and they just, some of them are really cool. Yeah. Um, this is uh, Karen O and Willie Nelson, Under Pressure, and this is limited to 2,500. It is a record store day exclusive. We have one copy. So um, this is also another uh, record store day exclusive. It's really cool. I wish we would have gotten more of these. Uh, this is uh, Saint Vincent, and it's she's doing her cover of Sad but True, which is going to be on the Blacklist box set. And then on the B side, she's doing uh, Piggy from Nine Inch Nails. It's got this. It's a all black, like like the Black Album. And then on the St. Vincent part, it's embossed. This is limited to 3,200 copies, and we have this one. We did try to get more of those. Unfortunately, yeah. it just didn't happen. Uh, 
this is another one we only got one of, and this is an RSE first, and it's a massive Gorillaz box set, so it's really nice. Yeah, that one is super so, limited, so I knew. 980 copies were made, uh, we have one copy, and it has all their albums but one, I'm not sure why that one's not in there, it even has a new one. Yeah, so. it's the only copy, the only record is missing is The Fall, but, um, it's so this one is, uh, like I said, we only had one, but it is fairly pricey, and uh, I imagine it'll last part of the day anyway. So. I don't know. I think it'll be, I've got like at least three people that have seemed like they would be willing to pay for it. So hopefully just get here early if you really want it. Um, all right. So we got the John Prine box set. It's a record for date exclusive. It's four LPs. It is John Prine uh, at the other end, and it is... Uh, live acoustics sets, two different uh, from 1975, and it's it's really nice set. It's limited to 8,500 copies. We have 11 copies. I think I have At one least. more coming. So um, yeah, and it is probably one of the more popular titles. Or one I've been asked for more yeah. than others. So. Lots of our locals have commented, like you know that they are super excited about this title. So. so, but we do have 11 copies. That's a lot. So. Um, the last box set I'm going to show, uh, we have one copy of, and it is the war box set. It is war's 50th anniversary. It's got five historic albums from 1971 to 1975 on vinyl for the first time since the original release. And it's a limited edition of a 5,000 copies. And each one is uniquely colored vinyl for each LP. So this is a really cool set. And, you know, you've got a, it would be a great way to dive into war. Uh, if you haven't listened to much of war, I mean, they're really awesome. This is uh, Candy Staten and it's uh, Trouble, Heartache and Sadness. Rare cuts from the Fame Session Masters. And uh, let's see, these are just great comps. She, uh, we actually have a lot of her 45s at home. Uh, we collect a lot of stuff on Fame and a lot of Candy Staten. But this one is really cool. The track list is some stuff that's not on the box set. And it's uh, just a cool comp. It's got her doing Jolene. Okay. We have four copies. It is uh, exclusive, limited to 3,000 copies. So, But we do have four. Uh, this is a big title and just because I have a whole lot don't think that like I'm gonna ha they're gonna last throughout the day because this title will probably I have everyone this has got the most excitement of I feel like any of the titles that we've gotten uh, this is the Foo Fighters under the moniker the DGs it's called Hell Satin and it is on one side they're doing there's five covers of BG so Foo Fighters performing BG songs and then on the B side it's them performing live uh, in music off of their most recent album, Medicine at Midnight. So it's got a really pretty uh, shiny cover that goes well with the whole, you know, disco-y theme. I've got 21 copies. But like I said, even though that's a lot of copies, um, they will go fast. They will go really fast. I mean, I've, I imagine that the first 20 people in line, I mean, I don't know for certain, but... This has got a lot of hype on it. So, um, Tad and Heller. This is a record store day exclusive, limited to 3,000 copies. We have three copies. It's a great album. Um, if you're into grunge, it's a must. Yeah, must this into. and uh, A Way Santa are just flawless records. It was produced by uh, Jay Massis. Yes. Actually. That's what you Okay, so this one is a record store day first. It's Amy Win Amy Winehouse remixes. It's a two LP, one record's blue, one record's yellow. It's limited uh, to thirteen thousand, and we have three copies. And it's remixes of songs from the Frank album and the Back to Black album. But we have three. Skeletal Family. This is a, another record store day exclusive, limited to two thousand. We only have two copies. We may have another one coming. Um, this is a great band if you're a fan of Bauhaus or uh, Joy Division, Susie, uh, 45 Graves, any sort of gothic rock. Yeah. It's great. And this is the singles that's never been available on vinyl before. So, 
Okay, so this one is a uh, limited, it's a Record Store Day exclusive. It's limited to 3,500 copies, and it's an EP. It's Queen plus Adam Lambert, live from around the world EP. So it's got five tracks uh, on the record, and then it also comes with a bonus pink vinyl 7-inch that is Freddie Mercury performing Love Me Like There's No Tomorrow. So uh, that's a really nice set. It's Half Speed Mastered at Abbey uh, Road Studios, and we have two copies. So I think those will be ones that go pretty quickly. All true tales of the fun-loving criminals, Scooby Snacks. This is the 25th anniversary, and it's uh, limited to 2,200 copies. It is a record store day exclusive. We have one copy. A lot of uh, a lot of the titles we only have one copy of. Yeah. So if that's you're true. wanting something that's kind of you know get here early. Yeah. Uh, this is a record today exclusive. It is Bob Dylan Jokerman Jokerman 12 inch uh, with I and I the reggae remix by Dr. Dread on the flip. So this is uh, limited to seven thousand copies. Um, we do have three copies of this. Um, so. So this is Royce uh, 59, the 59. It's a record store day first, limited to 900 copies, and I'm really not familiar with it, but um, we have one copy. It's hip hop, is what I yeah, know. Yeah, it looks hip hop. <laughs> okay, so this is another limited run regional title. This one is limited to 500 copies, and we have one of them. It's uh, Songs from the Astral Plane, Volume 1, a tribute to Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers. Uh, I think that's super cool. We love Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers. It's uh, a compilation of covers of their their song, or great songs. Uh, and it's their covers by Washington, D.C. Air, area band. So, so it's got everything um, you would think on there, except for maybe not Hospital. But it's got Roadrunner and... Um, oh, yeah, it does. Uh, Van Gogh, Old World, She Cracked. Girlfriend. Yeah. But, yeah. This is a pretty hyped one. This is uh, Migo the Devil, and this is a Record Store Day uh, 2021 exclusive. And it's limited to 1,500 copies. We have five of these. And this has got live tracks, covers, B-sides. We really so, like Amigo the Devil. We're going to go and see him in concert uh, here soon, so we're excited. Uh, that's a pretty neat title. And for 1500 the fact that we were able to get five, I'm really pumped Great, over that. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is another limited run regional title. It's limited to 1,000 copies. Uh, it is uh, Kiss My Ass Goodbye. It's a tribute to John Prine. Uh, with all, the benefit or the proceeds of this record sales goes to the Nashville Rescue Mission. So it's benefiting the Nashville Downtown Homeless. Uh, so it's... Limited to a thousand, but I only have one copy. It's on random colored vinyl. King's X tape head. This is on pink vinyl. It is hand numbered. Um, it's limited to 2,000 copies. It's a record store day first, and we have four copies. So we thought we were going to have a few more, but this is, I think, maybe it for this title. So, yeah. All right. It's really nice. Yeah, really nice. Uh, we've got Sammy Hagar. And the Circle, uh, exclusive limited edition picture disc to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the heavy metal soundtrack. It's limited to 2,000 copies. Uh, we have one. It's first time available on vinyl. And it's got heavy metal live and little white lies live. So kind of a neat for fans of Sammy Hagar and the Circle and heavy metal soundtrack. Now this King's X is a record store day exclusive. Also limited to 2,000 copies. Also hand numbered, and it's uh, Manic Moonlight, and but it is an exclusive instead of a RSD first. It is colored vinyl, so we actually have five copies of this one. So yeah. now the other King's X title got pushed back. Uh, hopefully Black so there Friday. Are only two. Yeah, so we, there's, there's only two. the two King's X. Uh, this is a record store day first, and it is the Vitamin String Quartet performing My Chemical Romance. It is on colored vinyl. It's uh, the 15th anniversary, first time on vinyl. It does include a bonus track. It's limited to 1,500 copies, and we have one. So that's interesting. 
This is one we ordered super heavy on. However, we only got four copies. The Cure Wild Mood Swings. It's limited to 8,000. It is a record store day exclusive. It is a picture disc. Um, it's a double picture disc. Yeah. And we did order really heavy on it, so maybe we'll get some after record store day. I don't know, but we did only get four copies. These will go really fast. Yeah. Um, so this one is, uh, it was a June 12th record store day that we sold out of, and then randomly I was able to get two more copies. So if you missed out on the Cure picture disc of Face on the June 12th, we'll have these two copies available for uh, this Saturday. Now, if this these popped up, who knows? Later, I may have luck with the uh, the wild boot swings, but uh, you know, this I did. This just became available to me like this, you know, week. So this is the Lillingtons uh, Black Channel broadcast. This is um, I'm not sure exactly how limited this is, but I know it's super limited. Um, we only have three copies. And this is, uh, it's limited to 641 uh, copies. That's pretty limited. And, uh, they're a band. If you've never heard of them, you probably want to really go check them out. Pay attention to their lyrics are really kind of strange. They sing a lot about, uh, you know, conspiracy, conspiracy theories, theories and yeah, uh, the paranormal. It's, uh, I don't know what color it is, but it does say colored vinyl so, and it yeah. has a retro tour poster in with it too. So, but for 641 to get three, we were pretty happy. Yeah, I did. I, I, you know, I always order more on the super small select uh, quantity titles than what I want, uh, just to make sure I get enough. But I did have multiple people, uh, local, ask about that particular title. Uh, this is a record store day first, and it is uh, Behind the Dykes 2. More beat, blues, and or psychedelic nuggets from the lowlands, 1966 to 1971. Um, we have a customer. Uh, you keep going. I'll okay. Yeah, you'll go out there. Yet, no. Okay. So uh, I'll keep going. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, this is a music on vinyl. It's more hard to find Dutch beat scene rarities. Limited of 3,000 copies. One, uh, one record is pink. One record is light green. It includes track by track liner notes, and all tracks are newly mastered from the original source tapes. Uh, this is a number title, uh, numbered on the back. It's music on vinyl, um, and it's limited to 3,000. We only have one copy, but these comps are really great. If you're not familiar with, um, they did uh, one on a previous record store day, I really recommend those. Uh, this is another title that I'm sad that I've only I've only got two copies of this one, and I have more than two people who want this record. So, uh, this is the Rolling Stones Hot Rocks uh, exclusive limited edition. It's on a double LP on yellow vinyl. It, it's 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 got expanded artwork, and it includes like two lithographs inside. It's really nice packaging. It's a little on the pricier end, but um, it's limited to. 7,200 copies. We only got two of these. I don't know how that happened, but um, if you know you miss out on this title, I'll do my best to track one, help you track one down, or try to get another one later. Um, this is all uh, record store day first. It's Bobby Gentry. Um, now, this is uh, limited to 2,500 copies, and um, it's The Windows of the World, which apparently they it says her long, her lost. Her near lost 1969 jazz album and um, so she's more known for either her country or her soulful stuff I guess in between that transition she put out this jazz album so this is a record store day exclusive limited to 2000 it's K Flay and we have two copies so um, this is the record store day first, and it's it's uh, songs from the original movie Harold and Maude. So it's Cat Stevens, and it it's got new front cover art, and and it also includes snippets and dialogue uh, of you know classic parts from the movie. Uh, we've got three copies on yellow, and then we have three copies on orange vinyl. So there's. If you're Cat Stephen fans, I know a ton of people are like, uh, 
big fans of the movie Harold and Maude. We have six total copies, and I really love the new cover art. Uh, it looks really, really special. So a lot of those to pick from. All right, so this is Hawkwind, and this is the Greasy Truckers. This is live from uh, around 72, 73. It's a Record Store Day exclusive, limited to 4,500 copies. We only have two. Uh, this era of Hawkwind is really good. I mean, all era of Hawkwind is really good, but this mm -hmm. is particularly really good. Yeah. So uh, check yeah. it out. Um, and if you're interested, we have two copies. Um, this is a Record Store Day first. It's limited to 2,000 copies. We have two copies of this, and it is... It's called Dinner Party Dessert. Um, now, on the hype, it says limited to 1,500 copies. So, I'm, you know, that's probably more accurate. But this is kind of like Dinner Party. It's like a super group of really famous uh, um, producer, like hip-hop producers. There's uh, Terrace Martin, Robert Glasper, Kamisi Washington, and Ninth Wonder. So, if you're into hip-hop or even like, I mean, it's more jazzy or jazz type stuff. Uh, plus, they've got vocals being laid down by Snoop Dogg, Herbie Hitchcock, and a few others. But it's pressed on lemonade and fruit, plant, fruit punch splattered vinyl. And we have two. This is Johnny Paycheck, and this is really early recordings. Um, it's a uh, record store day exclusive, limited to 2,000 copies. We have three. So. Um, this is a record store day first. And I know I might have showed this in one of our other videos. Uh, it is Earth Gang Strays with Rabies. Uh, this is limited to 1,500 copies. And it's a 2LP. It's the first time this has been available on vinyl. This is a hip-hop group duo from Atlanta. Uh, they're also a member of the hip-hop collective Spillage Village. And then I think they're currently on J. Cole's label, Dreamville. Uh, we have, so this is kind of a big deal when it comes to hip-hop. And it's, we have three copies though. This is Ann Pebbles. This is Ann Pebbles, Ann Pebbles. <laughs> uh, it's RSD first, limited to 1,500 copies. She's pretty amazing. Uh, this is a Fat Possum release, obviously. Uh, so that's colored vinyl. And we like to carry Ann Pebbles anyway, so. But we did only get one copy, so. There is a black version. That should be coming out later. Yeah. So uh, I just don't, don't know. Get it, yeah. There will be we'll get a second chance at it. Uh, this is a record short day first. I'm really bummed out. I only got one copy, but it's limited to twenty five hundred copies. So uh, this is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind original soundtrack available for the first time on Orange Mix Color Vinyl. If this is a title that you're looking for, which I know a couple people who mentioned it, um, this one's this one you're gonna need to get here early for. So I only have the one. Uh, I can also mention that the Life Aquatic, that one got pushed back. So, yeah. so. Um, This is God Forbid. This is a regional, limited to a thousand copies. Um, it's limited run and um, determination. So, uh, great metal record from the early 2000s, I think. It's the first time it's ever been put on vinyl, and I think it's on gray. Gray marbled or it's on colored vinyl. It's the 20th anniversary, so. Yeah, it's a, if you like the new wave of American heavy metal from the early 2000s, it's part of that wave. Um, this is a record for day exclusive title, uh, limited to 2,500 copies. It's uh, Aliens, the soundtrack to Aliens. It's the 35th anniversary and it's pressed on acid blood, yellow, and green vinyl. Uh, we only have one copy of this, so. That's yeah, really cool. It's definitely, certainly cool. So this is uh, Studio One Soul 20th Anniversary Edition Record Store Day Exclusive. And it's a uh, Soul Jazz Records um, compilation. Kind of know what you're getting there. It's a great track list. It's um, on yellow vinyl. We have three copies. It's limited to 1,500. Yeah, I recommend if you're into Soul to definitely check that one out. Um, yeah. I'll have you do this one so you like that one up. Okay. Uh, first one. This one is a big, big one. It is Bill Evan, or Bill Evans Behind the Dykes, the 1969 Netherlands Recordings. Uh, this is a 3LP set. It is hand-numbered on the, on the back. It's mastered by Bernie Grunman. It's 
limited to 3,500 copies. It includes two newly discovered tracks, and it's a little of a pricier set, but it's three records, and it comes in like a triple gate or trifold uh, cover. So if you're a jazz fan, that's probably a pretty big deal. This is a Record Store Day exclusive, limited to 2,800 copies. No, I'm sorry, limited to 1,200 copies. Um, we have one copy of Swollen Members, and it's uh, Greatest Hits, 10 Years of Turmoil, Termo 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 and it's hip hop. So. Um, this is a Record Store Day exclusive, and it is uh, put out by Light in the Attic. It's limited to 3,500 copies. And it's on color vinyl. This is a really cool tribute to Rocky Erickson. It's called Made the Circle Remain Unbroken. Um, this was a, tr uh, a compilation tribute put together uh, after he passed away. And it includes a lot of like Black Angels, Nico Case, Margot Price, Gary Clark Jr., Ty Seagal, Lucinda Williams, Chelsea yeah, Wolfe. It's a killer. Is... And apparently, so this one also includes a bonus Records for Day first flexi, or Records for Day flexi disc inside that has an actual um, Rock, Rocky Erickson performing uh, a special song. So We're huge fans. Yeah, um, we're big fans of. And I have to say, of there's several uh, tributes. Uh, that's probably the best one I've ever seen. Yeah. It's really, I'm stoked over this. It's a, it's pressed at RTI, so that's going to be good quality. Everything about it's a win. This is a Record Store Day exclusive, and we only got one copy. Kind of bummed about that, but it's a Small Faces, Complete Greatest Hits. So it is a comp, um, but yeah, we have one copy. All right. I can't find it. All right. Okay, so we've got, this is a Record Store Day exclusive. It's limited to 2,000. It is the 40th anniversary of Ultravox Vienna. And this is the Stephen Wilson stereo make. So um, I know there's a lot of hype over uh, Stephen Wilson like mix, uh, mixes of albums like Aqualong. And so this one might be definitely a must have. Yeah, that's supposed to be amazing sound quality. Um, so yeah, uh, it includes a bonus instrumental version of the album. Nice. So, um, it's a half speed master. So yeah, uh, if we've only got one copy, so. This is, uh, I'm not sure if it's Dose or Deuce, but, <laughs> nope. uh, it's, uh, Kara from Black Flag and Mike Wyatt from the Minutemen are, uh, um, yeah, and Firehose <laughs> and the Stooges and whatever other groups he's joined in the last. But um, this is a Kill Rockstars release. It's limited to 1,350. It's Record Store Day exclusive. We have one copy, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, it says the actually, first time on vinyl. Never actually heard this one, but it sounds like it would be really good. Uh, this is one that has a large amount pressed, although we, we just have two copies. It is the Crosby, Stills & Nash... Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, uh, Deja Vu, and this is Deja Vu Alternates, so, um... I love how they did the cover on that. Like, yeah, it's kind of like how they um, did with the Rumors la last year. Um, really cool, it's, it you know, alternate versions of, you know, some of them are, uh, early demo versions or early mixes or other takes, but, uh, we have two copies. This is Head P, and, um... This is uh, a limited run. It's also regional. It was limited to 750. We have two copies. And if you're, uh, you know, into that type of metal or sort of metal hip hop fusion, uh, G punk or uh, best suburban noise years, I was surprised we were able to get two. Uh, so this one is a uh, limited run regional title. It's limited to 500 copies. I know multiple people who want this, and we only have one. So if you do want this title, please get here early. It is Wax Poetic. It's a limited edition clear vinyl, double LP, first time on vinyl. Um, I know I know of a couple of locals who do want who would like this album. Hopefully they are able or I don't know whoever gets here first. <laughs> but anyway. 
If it's limited to 500, I feel lucky to even get one. So Yeah, this is a record store day exclusive, limited to 2,725. This is Paris, and this is uh, uh, bonus tracks from our well unused tracks and remixes from the uh, Use Me album. And um, it's uh, got one copy. It's going to go really fast. So, you want to go take care of that? Yeah, I'll take care of that. Okay, so yeah. this is a record store day first. It's a, I've got a large quantity of these, uh, but it is a title that is a, a lot of people want it. So um, I hope I have enough to fulfill all my local's needs. <laughs> anyway, it is Pearl Jam Alive 12 inch. It's a limited edition one sided 12 inch. It includes three rare bonus tracks. And then uh, it's got on the B side, it's got the uh, stick man etching on it. Uh, so this one I've got 13 copies of. And even though that is quite a lot of one title, um, you know, those will probably go pretty quickly. Um, uh, here is one that I wish I would, I was able to get more of these. Oh, I'm going to be saying that a lot. Okay. It is what it is. And we are going to have to speed it up a little bit. It's getting... Okay. Uh, this is a uh, oh me oh my Aretha in Phil, uh, live in Philly, nineteen seventy two. Uh, it's limited to five thousand fifty copies, and it, it's on orange and yellow vinyl, and we only have the one copy. Final note: the Almond Brothers Band record store day first, limited to nine thousand copies. We have two copies, so uh, limited to record store, record store day exclusive limited to 4,000 copies. We only have one copy. This will go so fast. It is the, uh, czar face, uh, czar nor it is a comic book, uh, with the record. So yep. That'll go fast. This one is super cool. I'm not sure how limited it is. We only have two copies. It's uh people under the stairs and, um, uh, yeah, it's a cool cover. So, uh, this is a record store day exclusive. It is limited to 2,000 copies. And it's, uh, we have two copies. It's Bastille and it is uh, Versus Other People's Heartache Part 3 picture disc. We have two. All right. This is uh, Curtis Mayfield, a tribute to Curtis Mayfield. And this comp, it's a comp. It's limited to 3,000 copies. It's a record store day exclusive. We have two. Um, this has everybody you could think of on it, from um, Elton John to the Isley Brothers, Gladys Knight, Lenny Kravitz. Stevie Wonder. Just an amazing. Yeah. So, two copies. Uh, record Store Day exclusive, limited to 3,000 copies. This is a three LP set by, put out by Runout Groove of Dr. John, uh, the Night Tripper. And it, it's at the expanded version, and it has... Features two LPs of previously unreleased tracks. Um, this is Dr. John's like fourth album. Uh, this is a really de like a, a de it's, definitive set. Yeah, it's been released so many different ways with different track lists, and we have like three copies just at home. Yeah, we like Dr. John. So that's that would be the version to have if you only have one copy. That would be it. Alcatraz, Born Innocent. This is uh, limited to one thousand two hundred copies. It's a, a Grand Bonnet, obviously, and it is a record store day exclusive. We have two copies. That's their album they put out in 2020, but it just now came out on vinyl for record store day. So it's a great band. This is an RSD exclusive, limited to 3,500 copies. It's Lamb of God as the Palace Burns, and it is a craft recordings. It says remixed by Josh Wilbur and mastered by Brad Blackwood. It's on red splatter vinyl. We have two. Uh, this is uh, Mayor Hawthorne Impressions. We have three copies. It's RSD first, and it is limited to 1,000 copies. So, Okay. This is one that I have a large quantity of, too, but I have a lot of people who want it. Those so. go very fast. Uh, this is an RSD first. It is a reissue of the Beastie Boys 1995 Return to the Hardcore Punk Roots. This one includes two bonus tracks, and um, we have 10 copies of this. But you now, if you're a big Beastie Boys fan, I suggest pulling it up and listening to it. You know, it's more of their hard, you know, like 
their earlier hardcore roots it says so um but anyway we have 10 copies so hopefully i have enough for all of, all of our people i feel like i'm <laughs> skipping some so <laughs> this is songs for you volume two we had the first one um the covers look exactly the same yeah. and this is uh black artists and the proceeds go to black owned record stores and the track list is Run the Jewels, uh, Curtis Mayfield, Summer Walker, uh, Pop Smoke, Otis Redding. Just great. Great, yeah. Track list, just like the first one. We have two copies. And I think we have one left of Volume 1 over there. So if you wanted to get it as a set, you could pick up both. Uh, this is a record store day first. It's uh, Green Jelly 333. It is a first time on vinyl for their album. This album came out originally in 1994. It's limited to 1,500 copies. Uh, apparently, when this album came out, it was nominated for a Grammy. Uh, but anyway, we have three copies of that. Yeah, and I didn't mention so, this. This uh, people under the stairs. It is an oversized cover. It's a real nice. Set. Yeah, really nice set. Hopefully, we can so, sell both of those locally, so we won't have to try to ship those. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> This is uh, Fear the Record, and it comes with uh, the uh, 45, the Christmas 45. Everybody knows that. I'm not going to say it. Um, it's limited to 3,500 copies. I have uh, original of the record and the 45, actually, but I don't have the cover. That's really cool if you check it out. It also comes with uh, an art stencil. Uh, we were only able... It is run out group. So, yeah, it's, it's a really nice uh, quality. And just a great track list. A so, lot of people have, 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 have that want that album. Uh, we only have one copy. This so. will be the Essential Fear catalog. That will go we really, really fast. Don't need more beer. <laughs> okay. So this is a Record Ready exclusive limited to 6,000 copies. It is Ramones live at Triple, uh, Triple J. It is the um, previously unreleased live show from the 1980 tour. So that's the end of the, end of the century tour. Um, we have four copies. It's, pre, you know, first time on vinyl. It's on, uh, I don't know if it's on colored vinyl or not, but we have four copies Those of Tremones. Yeah, these will go faster. They're numbered. Too. Oh, yeah, they uh, are numbered. This is, uh, Fallaluja or Fallaluja. It's a unique leader title, so we took a chance on it because... They put out great stuff. I sampled it. It's technical death metal. Jerome really liked it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good. It's uh, The Harvest Wounds. Yeah, and it's limited to a thousand copies, I believe. Jerome really likes the Unique Leader label. We've, uh, we've been ordering order from stuff, them since uh, like 2000. We had the first one. Order. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is one uh, we have two copies of. I know a lot of people want this title. It is a record store exclusive limited to 4,000 copies. It's uh, the Sisters of Mercy. It's BBC sessions, 1982 to 1984. So it's three different radio sessions with 12 tracks previously unreleased on vinyl. It is uh, on smoky, color, smoky vinyl. We have two copies. And I don't think though, you know, those will go pretty quick. So hopefully- On vinyl for the first time in 20 years. Um, it's Lou Reed and it's the uh, Twilight really. I believe that's the name of it. Uh, we have one copy, and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a Jane RSD Ron. exclusive, limited to two thousand. Um, it's Lindsey Sterling, "Lose You Now." It's an EP. It has five songs. The B side is etched, and we have three copies. Um, so. Uh, this is a Cro Mags Age of Quarrel. I know this is a great record, first of all. I know there was some controversy. It was like it got it off taken off the list and now it's back on. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah. But it's a great record. And uh, we have one copy. It's on red splatter vinyl or something? Uh, 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 red and black splatter vinyl. 180 gram. So this is Dio. It's an RSD exclusive. They always do a Dio picture disc. Uh, this one's limited to 3,500 copies. And it is um, God Hates Heavy Metal. So it's the celebrating the 25th anniversary of Angry Machines. And we only have one copy of this. So 750 of these. Um, this is a HBO soundtrack. I, I know this much true. I know this much is true. And it's uh, 
Harold, Harold Bud. Bud as limited 750 at the record store day first. So. Uh, this is an RSD exclusive. It is love. Everybody's got to live. I uh, wish we could have gotten one of those. <laughs> uh, so it's all selections from the 1974 love reel to reel recording sessions. We have two copies. Um, it's limited to 2,000. So those will probably go pretty quick. This one is limited to 2,500 copies. Um, first time physical release. This is a uh, record store day exclusive. We only have one right now, but I think it's we do have more on the way. Michael Schenker live in or live at the Manchester Apollo 1980. We should have three more copies here tomorrow. It's got Paul Raymond, Cozy Powell on drums. It's a uh, Great yeah. track list. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all early Shinker stuff. Yeah, they definitely won't uh, be able to see that, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, Jerome was like, whoa, this is awesome. Um, so yeah, if you're a Michael Shanker or MSG fan, or you know, like Jerome loves Cozy Powell, so like he will have to buy. There's also some UFO on here, rock bottom, lights out. I mean, just great track list. Yeah. Uh, great lineup. Yeah, definitely worth it. So we should out. have four of those. Uh, so this is a Record Store Day exclusive. It's Evanescence, The Open Door. It's Craft Recordings, doing 15th anniversary. Um, this is a second album. It's on gray marble vinyl from Evanescence. Um, if you, we only have two copies of this. I know so a lot of people who version. want this. So. Uh, so we do have the black vinyl version. These, if you just you want the album and you miss out on this one, we can at least get you a copy. So this is uh, Cleveland Calling Part 2, Roy Gallagher. And uh, it's a great track list and great guitarist. We have one copy. This is a Record Store Day exclusive. It's limited to 1,500 copies. We have one copy. It's sweet and it's uh, platinum rare. So uh, definitely... Great track list, uh, double album. Okay, so this one, we pulled our locals. We only got one of these. Uh, this is the Crosley Miniature Turntable. It is the Anthrax Edition, exclusive Anthrax Edition. Number This one's number 91 out of 1,000. They only made 1,000. Uh, these are little miniature turntables. They have a moving, coil, moving magnet or a... Uh, it's like it's a fancy decoration fancy decoration yeah moving moving magnet cartridge even but uh anthrax, looks like so a really cool. yeah if you're an anthrax and collector this would be really cool and we also have for sale the it's a four pack of anthrax uh three inch records so it's like sold in a little bundle here uh i will have one more package coming should be tomorrow so if you already own the record player and you just want more records for it or if you just think it's a cute little decoration, I don't, it's not, not in my business what you do with it. It would look but real nice next to your. Hold this up and look at it. I mean, it is a higher and price yeah, item. Yeah, you really but can't tell from the box. You really have to pull that up yeah, and look at it. It's, it's got the awesome. logo, the Anthrax logo on top. So this is one that got, there was a lot of confusion about whether it was going to be Record Store Day title or not. And, um, but it is, and it's a tattoo. And right now we have. Two copies. We have. We are doing the best to get. We can to get more. We, we had. Promise more, we were. So. Yeah. I was supposed to have uh, eight more copies coming in. Uh, they should have been here um, yesterday. Uh, however, looks like you know they disappeared from the warehouse or some kind of some kind of issue that I it, it would take a miracle. But I'm I'm super. We're, we're like crushed. Them. But as of right now, we have two copies. Um, hopefully we'll get more. We'll keep everyone updated. Uh, that's a title that we were super, super excited about. Um, and, and we do have some stragglers that are coming in tomorrow. We have, uh, like I said, more of the MSG, more of the anthrax and a few other things. Um, uh, we do um, have a lot of new so titles, although, um, like we're, we're going to have plenty of like, you don't have to buy only record store day releases on record store day. Yeah, there's so, a lot of, um, so we've got a new release is The Black Pumas, The Capital Cuts. This is live. Um, that's a pretty big title. Another huge title that comes out tomorrow is John Mayer Sob Rock. And now I do have to let you know that indie record stores get black vinyl. 
Um, this is Dark Knight's death metal soundtrack, and it's a Superman variant cover, and it would be worth owning strictly for the artwork. I don't know if you can really see all that. It also comes with Black cover is super cool. Uh, a poster so, and like a trading card, um, and it's on colored vinyl. So yeah, we've got a couple copies of this going out. I got the Beastie Boys, some old bullshit. This was Slip a Black Knight. Friday title that got reissued. I've also got um, a Fleetwood Mac Live reissue. This is going to be a big one. I've got the Space Jam soundtrack reissue. These come out next Friday. Uh, no, well, this this one is uh, the brick and mortar exclusive, so I think we got uh, ours is already out. But it's limited edition to six thousand. Um, so. I've and also we were got... going to show a lot more, but we've got people waiting, so we'll show a few more, and then we'll have to call it. Yeah, I was really excited about um, this one. So this, I've got a, so oh, I've got a on. whole enough to do a whole another video of just restocks, but um, this is a reissue of Space Hog Resident Alien. It's um, limited pink vinyl. 2LP, I've got some of those. Yeah, we've got restocks of Grimes, Bauhaus, Mingus. Uh, I've all, yeah, oh yeah, that Charles Mingus is like a three record set. So lots of great stuff, just trust me. Just trust me. I do also have my uh, record store day stuff from the UK. Um, I, I was able, to, well this isn't in the UK, but I got the 21 Pilots record store day. I got one of those, that was from June. I've got this Dream Syndicate, uh, limited to a thousand. I've got three copies. This is a UK record short day title. The third record, I believe. And it's, uh, the one that, uh, Paul Cutler, he produced the first one. He's from 45 Graves. He actually plays on that one. So it's a little more garage psyche. That's and, a big uh, deal. Um, uh, really good. Did you show the gun club? Oh. Um, no. I didn't show it either. We must have the box. Uh, um, uh, we do have one that we need to show. I gotta find it though. Um, um, just one second. Okay. Well, the Gun Club is one that we were really excited about, so I don't know how or where those went, how they got skipped over. Um, but I've got this one is a uh, limited edition to two or one thousand copies. It's of RSD UK, and it is Arizona Amp and Alternator. If you like like Americana, or if you're a fan of like. Arcade, it's got Arc, uh, guy, members of Arcade Fire, and Ward, Granddaddy, and Scott Nid Nidlet. It's on transparent violet, violet vinyl, and it's the first time it's on vinyl. I recommend listening to that. I liked it a lot. The Birth, The Death, The Ghost, uh, The Gun Club. This is live, I think, from 83. It's a record store day exclusive, limited to 1,800 copies. Did you show that one? Oh, yeah. Okay. And, uh, it's a great band. This one has uh, its early recording, early live stuff. It has Congo Powers on guitar. Uh, Original lineup. The Cramps and Nick Haven, the Bad Seeds. And this That's a is big a great record. Uh, and record, if you know it or not. <laughs> we have uh, five of them. So. This is a record for day first. I have four copies. It's Miles Davis Champions. It's rare Miles from the complete Jack Johnson uh, sessions. Uh, it is on yellow vinyl and um, we have four it's pretty awesome uh, real quick I'll go back over uh, this is a limited it's a U record store day UK limited to 1,000 copies it's on like red vinyl and it's called black spiders uh, this is if this is like hard rock if you like um, bar chords, bar chords. Lots pull of bar it up chords. and check it out I mean I know of specific customers I, I listened to it and I thought oh well they're gonna like that so it 
I I know that, you know, no problems. Get rid of that one. Now, this one is something I pulled up and I thought was really cool. It's a Record Store Day UK title. It's limited to 500 copies. We have three of these. Not only does it have some amazing cover art, um, it is on silver vinyl and it's uh, like retro futuristic electronic music. So it's kind of noisy, kind of, you know, experimental, which that's totally like our jam, but it's definitely something that might not be for everyone, but I know certain people who will definitely like it. Definitely so, look it up, sample it. It's sample very it. good. Yeah. Limited to 500 and we have, you know, we have a lot of them. So anyway, yeah, we've, we're going to cut this off now. Oh. Is there anything else you want to show? Uh, I really want to show these because they're new releases. Um, Matt, Spe uh, Matt Sweeney and Bonnie Prince Billy Super Wolves. This is a new release for tomorrow. Uh, we have two of those. That's not Record Store Day, but it's just a new title. Uh, uh, now, is this the original Super Wolves? Um, I don't know. Maybe just it's a reissue. Re I don't know. Uh, this is Mingus at Carnegie Hall. It's a run-out groove release, and it's on three records. That's kind of a big deal. Um, we have lots of other restocks, lots of other cool. Um, I've got some Idols. I've got some more Fleetwood Mac. I've got some um, Ty Seagal. I've ordered a bunch of Ty Seagal. Ooh. This is a special order, but if you're watching this, I might not have any monkeys for records for today, but I do have this dance, uh, faint dance macabre. Uh, this is, you know who you are. I've got more that can be coming in my next order. So if you do want a copy of someone else wants a copy of this, this one's already claimed. Um, but anyway, we will so wrap yeah, this there's up. There's all kinds of cool titles going on. Yeah. So I've got restocks on the Charles Bradley. Um, this Black Velvet's a special order. Oh, more Grimes. Yeah, Grimes back in the stock. Idols. So. Uh, this Sun and Cell Club. This is like for fans of Fu Manchu. The Last Coven album. Uh, uh, back in stock. All right. And we're going to have to stop it here. Okay, so that's our record store day video. we got to wrap it up. Yeah. See you guys Saturday. Thank you for watching.